Hello Capricorn, this is Marichi, you are my channel Triloka and I am back this week with another set of tarot readings. This is a new series which I'm going to introduce to the channel and uh, I think I will be doing it twice a month, uh, one in the beginning of the month and one mid-month. So, um, I'm using a new deck as well. Uh, this is a deck which I gifted myself for my birthday which was very recent on the 21st of June. I'm a Cancerian. Uh, the deck is called uh, Slow Tarot and it is by Lazy Grind, a very beautiful deck and I want to introduce it to you guys as well. Sharing is caring. <laughs> so, three sets. You got three sets on the, on the table and uh, each set has three cards. So, a total of nine cards will be discussed today in the reading and we have another card behind the deck which will be the tenth card. In the first set, I will be showing the cards uh, on the screen, so it's much more clear. Uh, we've got the Four of Wands as the first card. We've got the Five of Coins as the second card. We'll discuss these first. The energy which I get from these two cards are you're waiting on blessings to fall in your lap. Yeah? If you look at the confetti, you want some kind of a celebration, some kind, uh, you want a reason to celebrate this month. This reading is for um, the rest of the month, okay, from 16 July to 31st July. So there is a time frame for this one. So it's like you want a reason for celebration because there is nothing much happening in your life right now, even with the hangman behind your deck. Um, it's like the theme of the reading is like there is this sense of stagnancy which is going on with you guys, okay, Capricorns, um, that you want to get out of. You want some kind of new lease in life, okay, a change, and you're desperate to have it that you're literally putting your palms out there. So something, if something falls out of the sky, you want to, you know, grab it that desperate okay you want some kind of change to happen which will alleviate your situation and make it much better with the four of wands this is what you want you want to have better times if you look at that even if uh, the kids are gardening are they kids uh, yeah young people um, they're gardening up there but they still enjoy okay uh, there is um, some kind of a parade happening behind if you can see the uh, the band marching behind it's like some kind of a celebration so you want that to happen okay and even if you look at this card five coins um, five pentacles in a traditional deck is like you are out in the cold yeah you are very much deserted you are in a bad state okay but this this card also talks about you know with all that confetti on the top it's like a party you know you want some kind of a celebration both these cards have the same element of celebration happening but it is like you are waiting on the celebration to happen like you want some kind of you know um some kind of luck to rain down on you okay you want the clouds to uh, separate and the sun to come out you want some you know brightness in your life anything anything would do anything would uh, that would change your situation okay a reason to uh, celebrate your life a reason to look forward in your life that is how um, you're coming through for the rest of the month okay so I do see with this hangman, there is nothing much happening and you literally want to, you know, um, uh, yeah, it's like almost you have been hanging there for a long time. If you can see this card very closely, up his uh, legs, it's like the cowwebs has, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, the spiders has made the cowwebs. So he has been hanging there for a long, long, long time, okay, in this state in the stagnancy state uh in the traditional deck hangman is like you know you wait it is more like a meditation it's like you hang in there okay upside down but you are getting enlightened uh, 
in that uh, in the traditional deck you have the head uh, with the uh, you know the halo around the head it's like uh, you know that kind of enlightenment which is happening but here it it is like literally in his hands do you, do you see that uh, thread with which uh, I never used to play but I've seen people playing I'm uh, totally uh, useless with all that stuff um, uh, with the thread you can make you know I'll show it <laughs> is it better than me trying to explain you can see you can actually play with it and people can uh, you know put their hands and you can trap something of that sort so it's like he has been hanging on that tree for so long and he's pretty much bored okay he's playing with himself the cowwebs has literally made uh, the spiders has literally made cowwebs around his um, legs okay creepy uh, but still this this shows me it has been some time you are in this position and the first two cards with the five coins it shows me uh, you want some kind of a new change to happen even the minutest okay um uh, minutest of luck will do okay some little luck coming your way and you're waiting you're literally playing with the strengths waiting like you you're freaking bored with this situation right now okay so um uh king oh uh, sorry uh knight of points again if you look at this card he is tossing a coin it is a disregard for the money in your hand it is a little reckless you know you just laid back you're just playing around no not anymore you value your money you cannot play around uh, 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 play with the money okay so uh, I do get uh, financially some of you Capricorns out there are a bit uh, tensed about their financial situation as well okay uh probably are in this situation right now and you want to get out of the situation in this um uh, you know the later phase of this month somehow some kind of a luck will do yeah so that's there just give me a second hmm. and uh, uh with these two cards i almost want to say you are letting go Okay, letting go of something, um, you know, what is this? Uh, okay, this is about your concepts, okay? Uh, previously, you had all this, you want this kind of a job, you want this kind of a salary, etc, etc, etc. You had all these clauses, okay? Now you desperate that you, anything will do. Okay, anything would work. You just want to get out of the space somehow. Okay, you don't want to hang in there anymore. You're freaking bored. Okay, so any kind of luck will do. That is coming through with these two points. You have let go of all your perceptions. Okay, uh, the things which you were holding on to for long and you were like very adamant, you weren't flexible okay you might have got an offer okay but uh, probably the job description was uh, you know uh, um, something about it wasn't uh, you felt like uh, you might get something better so you're like you disregarded it and you want something better to come through yeah now you're in a position since you know you have been declining a couple of offers because you know that is not exactly what you want you have this uh, you know set mind that only this kind of a job will I uh, you know uh, the, uh, job description um, uh, will I even uh, even consider now you thrown away all the thoughts okay I see you letting go of all that clauses which you had and you're okay with anything yeah you're ready to be flexible and you're literally putting your hands out there wishing something will fall out of the sky okay so that that is an energy capricorns i'm getting uh for you for the rest of the month 
Uh, the second uh, set of cards show me uh, the three of swords. We've got the nine of swords. Just give me a moment. I'm seeing these cards for the first time. I've got this uh, deck um, uh, last week, but uh, <sighs> it's almost the same. Okay. Uh, there is something extra, but yeah. And we have the king of coins Capricorn is speaking directly to you okay uh, so second set shows me the three of swords and we have got the nine of swords you want to I think uh, it came in reverse yeah it came in reverse so nine of swords uh, if you look at the nine of swords there is a horse which is running behind there is a block uh, black horse which is running behind so you want to release out of this you have been depressed because of your situation and it it is literally uh getting the better of you you know uh, emotionally mentally you are in a distraught situation you want to get out of the situation you might be losing sleep over this okay whatever the situation was you uh you just want to get out of it, okay? The swords are all different. What do you want to say? I see you, um, you know, uh, depressed over a situation which didn't work well, okay? Which hurt you pretty bad, okay? Uh, didn't go the way you actually planned, okay? Uh, it's almost like you you are stopped in your tracks okay the horse cannot uh, horse is the fastest moving probably not the fastest because cheetah and all comes um, yeah let's just say a uh, horse is also fast okay uh, so it seems like you have been slowed down to such an extent where you cannot, you know, go forward. You're stopped in your tracks. That's what even the hangman shows me. You can't do anything about it. You're stuck, okay? Literally stuck and uh, um, tied to the uh, tree. You cannot get out of it. That's why the cow webs are, you know, it's been a while. It must be a couple of years now you're in this situation, yeah? And now it is, it is, um, uh, you're feeling this anxiety whether you would get out of the situation anytime soon or not. That is why you are wishing you get some kind of a blessing, yeah, because people are not helping you out. You want the gods vow, you know, to do some kind of a miracle to bless you with something, something which changes uh, your situation. Your current situation okay um, I do see something is going around you in your head just a second yeah these two cards talk about the same thing whatever happened in the past it has hurt you so much it is uh, it is literally going around in your head okay uh, you losing sleep over it anxiety insomnia all that okay a mixture of everything together and you want to get out of uh, out of the state uh yeah both the cards uh speaks about being stuck and it's like uh the boat has sunk okay there there has been a, a hole in the boat and it's sunk and you can't um until and unless you fix this boat you can't use it you cannot sail with a boat which has a hole the water will fill in and you will literally drown right so that is your situation right now even with the king of coins okay it seems like uh he if you look at this picture he's holding on to a coin okay there is a snake behind the first time when i saw this uh when i pulled this um card in your read i just took a look at it because king of coins who, who would just ignore a card like this i looked at the elements the first thing which i want to say was 
that I thought about was there is something about a gamble. Hmm? This king is thinking about a gamble with him holding on to a coin, looking at a coin. It's like whether should I toss it or not? It is taking a gamble. Okay, that is the first thing when I looked at this card which came through. So, a uh, Capricorn, it seems like, and um, there is a snake uh, traveling uh, as well. Um, it is not like uh, deceitful or anything. Um, it's almost like he doesn't notice the um, notice the snake, but it's it's like it the snake is a part of the you know his accommodation. It's like a pet snake. It's not like uh, you know something which crawled out uh, creeped in, uh, in through the window. No, it is they know each other. His pet probably. Yeah. And he has a globe in his hand. He's wearing the coins he has going. Okay. So this, this card talks to me about he's thinking, he's contemplating to take a gamble at something. Okay. But yet, with these two cards above him, he's thinking about the loss. Okay. Uh, which happened previously. Okay. And he's wondering whether it will happen again. Is he is he dumb enough to do the same mistake over again? Okay, because he has lost the first time. Okay, it could be a situation of the heart as well. It could be a relationship, but I'm not going to you know specify uh, you know be specific about it. It could be anything, a business as well. Okay, so to each of you, however it makes sense, take it. You would know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, so it's like he wants to take a gamble, but uh, his expression through the card is he's like thinking, even though he's looking at the coin, his his mind is somewhere else. He's thinking about what had happened in the past. You almost look at a person. I do that. I look at a person, and I I might not be listening to what the person is speaking. I might be uh, you know thinking about something else. That's normal for me. Okay, or probably I might be re uh, sitting and reading his thoughts. Okay, not what he's saying. That happens to most of us. So his gaze to me is like he is not focused in the coin. He's thinking about something uh, which has happened in the past and uh, which actually uh, put him in a situation where now he has to depend on his fate. Yeah, he's leaving it up to the gods above to help him out in getting out of the situation okay that bad with the horse which i spoke about he might have been somebody who has been successful okay fast rider he never had to look back no nothing of that sort but now with something which he might have done okay might have faltered okay might have uh, you know been a big flop and that is uh, you know causing him anxiety because uh, he might have gone bankrupt as well and now he needs some kind of a help to get out of it okay maybe a new business venture which he's thinking about uh, you know he he, he might have uh, enough investment to put in put in to start this venture but he's still uh, a little reluctant a little hesitant to even do that take the step because he's wondering if you know the history will repeat again okay so that is going on in his uh this thing and is literally stopped in his own tracks okay he cannot move he cannot just take another step and he's thinking uh you know might be some failure which had happened in the past is making him not take another step in life okay so there is an influence of the past coming into your future or your present to make a change in your future so uh, yeah just what I was saying this person is uh, this person is also coming out as an emperor the two cards uh, the other two cards is a chariot 
Okay, chariot is a fo uh, forward moving car. This is like somebody who is determined to reach somewhere. Okay, they have the resources. If you look at this card behind, uh, it's a it it is a silly cycle. Okay, uh, but if you look behind her, there is two suitcases which is packed. Okay, and then she has a torch. She is not worried about any darkness. She is not worried about the sun setting. No, she is well prepared. She has her resources. She doesn't have to, you know, um, uh, stop anywhere uh, for food or anything because she has packed everything along with her and her journey is determined. Okay, she knows where she is going. Even if you look at this card, she is holding on to, um, around her neck. She is actually wearing this compass. Okay, so it is like little GPS. Okay, she is carrying a GPS on herself. She knows where exactly to go. Yeah, she's not going to ask anybody, uh, anybody where she needs to go. She doesn't want anybody to guide her or anything because she knows she has planned it well. Okay, she is resourceful, everything. Okay, and she, uh, 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 the way she is like, she's determined. Okay, she needs to reach before, you know, uh, morning. Like, or else she could just, you know, wait for... Um, you know, uh, sleep somewhere and then start the journey again when it's, uh, you know, daylight. No, she has the torch in her hand. She is, even if it is night, she will want to reach where she wants to go. Yeah, there is no stopping this uh, uh, girl. Okay, and for a swords. Okay, so the emperor knows exactly where he wants to go. Okay, he is contemplating it though okay bef uh, with the before situation because of the past which is you know uh, shadowing your present that is what uh, uh, you know is stopping you on your tracks okay but yet this person knows exactly what he wants okay maybe he has a plan in his mind and he's looking at it okay this is he knows exactly this is what he wants to do but yet there is this uh, this is the four of swords if you look at it, the lady is sleeping on the rocks, okay, might be the beach. Or she's just resting up there and she's uh, made uh, this little tent, okay, uh, just to uh, protect herself like a shade above her. It could be just a scarf, but yet she has protected herself. But this has come out in reverse. It feels like this man is exposed, okay, this emperor feels exposed. This man feels like everybody's eyes is on him, okay? He doesn't have any kind of protection. He feels very vulnerable in his situation. And he needs to get out of it. But the energy which I get from this card is like people have their eyes on you, okay? Since probably because there was some kind of, uh, you know, tragedy or you know uh, something flopped out in uh, in the past okay it might have cost you loss it has cost you money as well like a little uh, loss in money now even if you're taking the step even if you're contemplating whether you should take this rest the the emperor is looking at like um if he takes this step okay he if he gets on the bike and rides there is a couple of eyes on you, okay, this month. Whatever action you're going to take, people are watching. Yeah, that is actually causing you the anxiety. If people are watching, you're more, uh, you know, like introverted. Like, I don't like to be on the camera. No, I've been doing this for a long time now, but yet, I had this, you know, uh, a kind of thing that I want to be in front of the masses. I know what is my capabilities, but when I started off, I, I literally, uh, you know, was low profile. Okay, because, just a moment. Because I know so many people are watching and so many friends of mine or so many family members, distant family members of mine do not know 
about this side of me. Yeah? And I don't want them to know. But yet I'm here. Yeah? Because I know what I'm giving out to the people. How I'm helping, my insights are helping people I know. Yeah? My fear of the camera is surpassed. Because it is very minute. Okay? For what this is to the people out there. To the people who watch the video. Yeah? So my insecurity is nothing. Same. With this guy, he knows exactly what he needs to do with his chariot. He knows what step he has to take. But yet, there is something which he stops him. Okay? Because he feels exposed. People are watching. People are watching whether he is going to fail again or not. And it is stressing him out. This stress is making him not take the step. Okay, with the horse cart which I spoke about earlier. He cannot gallop away to, you know, to the future, to the success which is there. Okay. So that is the energy which is coming out for the Capricorn this, this later part of the month. I hope some of this makes sense. I'll be watching your comments. And until next time, this is Marishi on my channel, Chiloka. Bye.